um, a lot of the people that seem to be sympathizers of the KPD, um, they state uh, as if this is factual, and I don't know if it is, so I'm going to ask you your take on it. But um, is it illegal to tape uh, the proffer agreement, and was it illegal to release it? No, there's no expectation of privacy when you're involved in it, when you're conducting a law enforcement interview. You can secretly tape anytime, anywhere, when it's a law enforcement investigation. The individual knows that you're, the person you're interviewing knows that you're law enforcement. There's no expectation of privacy. There's nothing illegal about it. There's nothing inappropriate about it. It's done all of the time. And that's just the, uh, that's the facts of the matter. Only ignorant people would believe otherwise. Okay. Um, we know that your book and documentary initially kind of brought all the conspirators to their knees, but how do you feel about, um, you know, we did an interview with Vlad, he's done a couple of interviews and he feels as though his YouTube channel solved the Tupac case. What were your reaction when you hear that? Well, I would, I suppose I would want to ask Vlad, define solved. What do you mean you solved the case? Did you bring attention to the case? Absolutely. Did you get information um, that, uh, from the public's perspective, educated them on some of the things about the case? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's got a great platform and he's got a lot of really interesting witnesses. Um, but solved the case? You'd have to define what you mean by that. Clearly, he's not in a position to solve anything insofar as, um, you know, within the context of what we talk about when we're solving crimes. You know, he, he obviously had me on there. I told him uh, what I knew about the investigation. He had Brennan and Ladd on there, and they talked to him, and he's had Keefe D on there, and... Um, you know, amongst others. And so he gathered a lot of information, but the vast majority of that information was already in the public domain. Keefe D's interview had first aired on BET. So he was already in a documentary talking about his involvement in the murder long before he got on Vlad's pat platform. And even Vlad himself says, you know, I was interviewing Keefe D and quoting things from his book. So clearly there's already a book published where Keefe D is disclosing his involvement. So, I don't know, it's a little over-exaggerated to say that he solved it, um, but maybe he means something different by that. I don't know, only he can kind of clarify that. 